Alright, I'm super excited about this jQuery lesson because we are going to be doing what I think is the most fun part of JavaScript programming and that is doing Ajax. Uh, we're going to be taking this flat page here which is a coffee orders application and right now we have some static content here that we're just kind of spitting out uh, and we are going to be taking this and making it dynamic. We're going to be, when you load the page, we're going to load up the orders, spit them out on the page, and we're going to give you the ability to add a new order to the database, and it shows up here right away without navigating. Yippee, let's get into it. And so the two technologies we're using is Ajax. We're going to be using Ajax to access our API that our backend team gave us. Ah, what do these two words mean? Uh, well, Ajax means asynchronous JavaScript and XML, uh, which technically means you're using JavaScript to get XML behind the scenes. It's funny, we don't use XML anymore, we use JSON, but Ajax is a terrible name, and Ajax sounds cool, so we still call it Ajax. So this basically just means, ah, we're using jQuery Ajax, and it's going to be talking to an API that our backend team built for us. API is our application programming interface, and so when the backend team builds the database and the structure to handle all the orders, they give us some methods for accessing the orders, uh, and for posting new orders. And so that's basically what the API is. That's what the backend team builds is the API for us. So let's kind of get into this. So here's our static content. We want to, our first step and what we're going to be doing in this video is covering how to do a get request to grab the content and replace this static content with quote unquote dynamic content. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's strike out this static content here. Our UL is called orders, and so now when we refresh, we have no orders. Right, because we have not gotten them yet. Let's go ahead into our main.js, do a document ready function. Probably don't need it because our JavaScript's at the bottom of the page, but oh well, we'll do it anyway. And we're going to be doing jQuery Ajax, and we're giving it an object of options here. And so the first thing we need to do is we need to know what URL are we going to get and how are we going to get that information. So let's look at our note from the backend team. Our backend team said, here's the API we built for you. If you send a get request to slash API orders, you're going to get this sample response of all the orders. Awesome. So let's go ahead and check that out. We can go slash API orders, which I've already done. And you see, awesome, it actually gives me all the JSON. And I'm going to show you just a little bit more about what a get request is. Uh, basically, whenever you type anything into the URL, it does a get request for it. It gets that URL. You can see if I look at my network tab, I called slash API slash orders, and it did a get method for that. And here's my response. It gave me that JSON object of my orders. It also, I have these two get requests going on because I have a plugin that makes JSON look pretty. But technically, the only get request that happened is this guy right here. Um, if I actually refresh this page, let me go to the network tab and refresh this page, you'll see that it does like five get requests. It starts off by getting my local host here, and my server is programmed to respond to local host with an HTML file. Uh, so this is where the HTML file comes in. Uh, my browser starts going through that HTML file, finds out that I need to load a style sheet, so it does a git request for my CSS file. And there you go, it responds with a CSS file. It does a git request for my jQuery file, that's jQuery library, and a git request for my main.js, which is currently just that. So that's what's going on. Let's go ahead now and do a git request for API orders, so we are also grabbing this. Uh, my type is going to be get which is actually the default. I don't have to add that, but I'm going to add that in. The URL is slash API slash orders. So now let me go ahead and refresh my page. And you'll see now I hit API slash orders. It was a get request. And my response is the data that I need. Excellent. So now all we have to do is take that data and spit it out onto our page. So how we do that is with a success function. Success and give it a function. And then the, this will pass us our data right there. So if I go console log data, let me hit save, hit refresh. You see it says success. And I have an array with two items. My array has the will drink and the Laura drink. Awesome. That is our information. So now we just need to go through each item 
and spit out an li for it. So we're going to use the jQuery each function, which is going to go each. The first thing is the the array. Each is what each does with jQuery is it goes through each item in an array and allows you to run a function based off of that item. So data is an array, and so we're going to pass data as the first one, and then we're going to give it our function that we want to run is our second argument. So for each item in data, we're going to run a function. And the, the two arguments that it passes is i, which is the index, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then the actual item. You can call this whatever you want. You can call it item, you can call it order. Uh, basically, that's just what each item is. So for each, I'll just call this orders here, make it a little clearer with the naming. So our success orders go through each orders and give us an order. And so what I'm going to do then is let's look at our UL. This UL is where we want to spit it out to, which has an ID of orders. Let's cache that up here. Cache the DOM so we only have to look at it once. Orders.append, we're going to put a new LI in there. Let's just make sure this works. There we go. Yep, so now it put in two new orders. Uh, and all we have to do is now populate the information into those LIs. And so we can do this just by uh, fixing this string here. And then oh, drink. So under here, I'm just going to cut that out. Order dot name. There we go. And then drink is going to go order dot drink. So there we go. I've added the name in. I've added the drink in. Let's refresh. Ha ha. We have hit our back end server and we have spit out an LI for each of our items. That's awesome. Um, and this is where we're going to end this video. Uh, in the next video, we're going to add in how to post things to the back end. And we're going to get into this is messy right here. So we're going to show you how to use templating engines to make that a lot cleaner. So let's get into the next lesson.